Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. We have yet another, yet another art tablet, digital art tablet unboxing for you guys. So XP Pen sent us the 24 inch unit, which I love, I've been using it, but they also sent us this brand new 16 inch unit. So now we can compare. This is the Innovator 16 from XP Pen. And I gotta point out, gotta point out, look at all the clownfish. Yeah. That's not because of us, but that's it's good to see all the little clownfish on this. So this is their brand new 16 inch tablet. And they also sent us their mascot. Uh, I think his name is uh, either Phoenix or Fenix, the cute little fox guy that we, we uh, pointed out on the 24 inch tablet. So here we go. Let's take a look at the specs here. And we're gonna unbox this unit and then I'm gonna do another drawing and let you guys know what I think. I'm kind of curious how this compares to the 24 inch unit, which I, I do love. I love being able to see what I'm doing. But 16 is is a, a pretty sane size for most people. In fact, I had to rearrange my entire workspace just to be able to make room for the 24 inch tablet. But let's see what this is like. And it's gonna be considerably easier to open because the box opens just like this. I just pull this off. There we go. This is very nice. There he is. There he is. He's really cute. He is really cute. So it's got that new tablet smell. This is thin. Oh yeah, it is. Whoa. Now there's no feet on this one, but this one. It opens up, I think, like, you know, it makes like a tripod. Yeah, let's out. see, let's see what kind of accessories we have in here. Um okay. this is a stand. So well, I don't need to take it out right now, but we've got the same similar adapters that we had with the other unit where you can either plug it into the wall or you can uh, plug it into USB. And uh, let me see if I can oh, put this way. Here we go. It's much easier to open than the other one was. We've got our box of goodies. Um, of course, we've got the pen and the nibs and uh, our instructions. We got cloth. Yeah, so we're gonna try this one out. I'm actually, I didn't know what to expect. Um, they said we're gonna send you a 24 inch, we're gonna send you a 16 inch. And the 24 inch I was super excited about because I I, I do need a bigger workspace because I can't see. <laughs> but I did not expect this tablet to have, for the screen to be as big as it is and for it to be as light as it is. So I'm looking forward to trying this out. It's got a click wheel and everything on it. All right, so that's the tablet. Now they sent us this little guy too, which is, yeah, he's their mascot. He's so cute. Yeah, I know, we, is he a fox? I think he's a fox. He's really cute. So this is a colorable model, a colorable, colorable mascot model. So I guess you can, he's got a little pull tab on him. Now, I don't know if this is a gift that they give out to people who purchase their tablets or not, but there we go. Oh, oh my God, he's cute. Everyone, you know who's going to take this, right? Yeah, Pinky Boo's going to yeah, take this. Yeah, she's exactly going to be the one that takes this. She's got dibs on this guy. I guarantee you she is. Everyone is creative. All right, and we believe that. We believe everybody can be creative. Well, I'm an art teacher. I would be really remiss if I didn't. Let's take him out. Can we take him out? Um, I totally believe the bunny is creative in some way. Oh, so I guess we can paint him if we wanted to. Oh, he's so cute. He is cute. Oh, yeah, he's the ceramic. He's like, yeah, it's like ceramics. Or like a resin or something. Yeah, he's very cute. So and, he, and, and, it's, and it's, it's, it's like a rough texture on him so that it yeah. will hold uh, paint or marker or whatever you want to use. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool to do with him since he's white. It's actually go through with a black line and make it look like he's an anime, you know, a comic That would be something. cool, but you're going to have to fight your, your daughter for that yeah. one. I have a strong feeling. He's probably going to wind up purple and black or something. All right. So we're gonna go try this tablet out. I'm really looking forward to it now. Okay, so I've done a drawing on the XP Pen Innovator 16 and I'm here with Pinky Boo. Hey. And we're gonna compare this unit, the Innovator 16 to some other units we've reviewed on the channel. Now I did a drawing of, I was calling her Bubble Cham, but you think she should be called Stevie. Yes, because if you've watched for long enough our clownfish is named bubbly steve by me and trisket yep. so and she's supposed to be like bubbly steve so like as an anime girl so 
she should be. Stevie. Stevie? Okay, well, we can call her Stevie or Bubble Chan. Maybe that'll be her nickname. Uh, anyway, I want to show this tablet off, and I want to show you how big it is compared to uh, Boo's Wacom tablet. Now, this is a 13-inch Wacom. We reviewed this uh, a couple months ago. So you can kind of see, you know, this is a 13-inch unit. This is a 16-inch unit. There's a lot more drawing space on the 16-inch unit. But what really surprised me, now this is, um, again, her Wacom. This is how thick the 13-inch Wacom is. And it, it's a light unit. And it's a really good little unit. We reviewed it a couple months ago. But the Innovator 16 is actually thinner than the Wacom tablet which kind of blows my mind. It's like double, this one's double. Yeah, and it just kind of rests on the stand and you can, you know, just work right off your tabletop if you want to. You don't have to use a stand with it. Uh, it does have function keys on the side. It has the click wheel, you can zoom in and out. Um, very nice, because you can, you know, I mean, this is the thickness of an iPad. I love how you put some earrings on him. They're my earrings. <laughs> He's borrowing them. Okay, but the performance, uh, the performance is really good too. Let's show you. Now we did review the XP Pen 24 inch a couple of weeks ago, and I was surprised how there was like no parallax, but it, it's the same with, with this unit too. I mean, there's no jitter. I had no problem drawing at all. It keeps up. I mean, obviously it depends on your computer, but uh, no jitter works beautifully in Clip Studio and in Photoshop. Now, the only issue I had with this one, uh, again, I had the same issue with the 24 inch XP Pen was the driver. Uh, it took me a little while to get this unit hooked up. Now, this one I did hook up to our gaming laptop, whereas the XP Pen 24 inch, I have it hooked up upstairs on uh, my main workstation but I love the, the portability of this unit. Now it is a little bulkier than the Wacom tablet, but the performance is great. And I'm, I'm really glad that XP Pen reached out and offered for us to review this one as well. I didn't know it existed, but I think it's really pretty cool. If airplane seats were big enough, I'd probably take something like this in like a laptop on a plane. It could fit in a very large laptop bag, but it's actually wider than my gaming laptop, which is a, a 17 inch, uh, 17 inch screen. So it's portable. I mean, I think it's a great unit if you're, you know, like going up and down stairs or maybe you, you know, go someplace to do some drawing, like a library or something like that. But it is a little bigger than what I think would fit comfortably into a laptop bag. But I, I just love how Definitely lightweight. You can't bring a 24 inch on plane. No, this, this is very portable other than that. And again, you don't even need the stand. You can just take the, the tablet itself. Uh, I also love the pen. This pen is thinner than the other XP pen. Uh, now, there is no eraser on it. it. You know, it's lightweight, doesn't take a battery. Now, what I didn't check out is whether or not it's got tilt. Um, and yeah, I think it does. I think it does. Yeah, so I'm gonna go over some tech specs here for those of you who are interested. Again, I uh, had a really good experience drawing with this one. I'd like to point out the fact that there are clownfish on the cover. Yeah, we saw that. It's actually pretty cool. All right, guys. So here are my final thoughts on the Innovator Display 16. This tablet is great. It's great. It's actually a lot of fun to draw on. It uh, feels very much like drawing on paper or drawing on an iPad. It's right-sized. It's 16 inches. The whole unit is about the size of a 17-inch laptop. Uh, love the stylus. It's thinner than the stylus that came with the 24-inch XP. Now, currently this unit is retailing for only $499. That's that's insane. I will put a link to that in the description of the video. But yeah, I love it. I love how portable it is. I love that you've got the function keys on it. It's it's really a nice cross between a desktop unit and a portable unit. Again, it feels very right-sized. Personally, I do like a bigger screen when I'm working on comics projects, but I really enjoy drawing on this tablet. Uh, after I got the driver issue worked out, it, 
I had no problems uh, right out of the box. It, it, it did exactly what I wanted it to do. Uh, there was virtually no parallax at all on this unit. There's no lag. Uh, loved it. Absolutely loved it. Now, here are some of the tech specs for it. For those of you who are interested in the tablet, stylus is battery free. It's got a display resolution of 1920 by 1080. The color gamut is 92% Adobe RGB, 88% NTSC, and 125% sRGB. Pressure sensitivity, 8,192 levels. Color depth, 16.7 million. Contrast, 12,000 to 1. Again, it does have tilt. Uh, the interface is USB HDMI. It's all in one unit, very much like the Wacom one was where you've got one plug and uh it, it's just it's very easy it's a very compact unit so i'm gonna see you guys out with the speed drawing of the character that i drew with this tablet and uh, be on the lookout for more art videos gaming videos tablet reviews maybe <laughs> it depends and thank you to xp pen for reaching out and sending us this tablet
Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.